somebody with an education, with some sense and a backbone, heart, courage, authority. Your opinion don't matter. I don't watch your show. I watch it every, I'm not, I'm not gonna watch your show consistently. I watch it every blue moon. I'm too busy doing my show because I don't get so oversaturated with rap. Because I know that rappers, most of them are doing it for clicks and views and streaming. If you know anything about Kendra Lamar, they're saying allegedly that Kendra Lamar is allowing people to do reaction videos and they're saying Drake is taking it down with copyright claims. But they're saying that Kendra Lamar is allowing it to stay up. Then we also know that they ain't talking about enough supporting black owned restaurants. I wish they would take all of that, take half of that and build in and invest in, in black politicians that want to do for black folk, white folks that want to do and uplift black folks and take care of the poor people. I wish that they take a piece of their influence and join Reverend Barber and the Poor People's March so poor folks can get their fair share. I wish that Kendra Lamar and Drake would talk to the governor of California so he could get him some sense so they can stop having homeless people on the street so people can afford to live in apartments and don't have to live on the street in a car working 40 hours. Because at the end of the day, after you get through with all that, what about the people in California that can't afford to stay in an apartment? They'll make three times the rent. What about the people in Texas that can't afford shelter? They're getting frozen out because of high rent. What about the people in Chicago getting frozen out? Use some of that influence to tell these politicians to make better housing policy for American citizens. How about Kendall Lamar and Drake go both and do a, a press conference and really call for Brandon Johnson to get him some common sense to make sure he put Chicagoans citizens first, Americans first.